Hey everybody, this is Jason Schultz. Welcome to Badger State Weekly, our weekly show. Chris Clark has abandoned me, and uh, Ryan is always here, but he has a job now too. He had a job before, but he's doing some training in Chicago this week. So welcome everybody. It's July 31st. We just got done doing Let's Grow Pulling. I had Bill Petrie on from McLeod, Kansas, and we talked about uh, the big summer nationals. And the Badger State schedule has been hot to trot. We had some rain outs, of course, you know, um, about two weeks ago now, Mazel had a heck of a show on Friday night. And before we get into the promoters tonight, we're, we're going to talk about Oshkosh, Wisconsin. I'm going to get a hold of Glenn Bartles. I'm going to get a hold of um, Roger Castle from Black River Falls. Utica, I'm going to call Dave Smith back. And Warren, Illinois, I'm going to call Mike Gerlock. And that's a big-time hometown poll for many of our pollers. So if you're just checking in, uh, please let me know that I sound okay and you can hear me. Well, don't comment if I sound okay because I know I'm going to get a bunch of smart-ass comments from everybody out there. But let me know that you can hear me okay. And when I do get people on the phone, please let me know that you can do that. So uh, ask questions in the comments. Please share the show out there onto different timelines and different things like that. That's how uh, – share it out to your personal timeline, um, please. I think Amanda already shared it to the Badger State page. Yeah, share it out to your personal timelines. Let people know what's going on, and we're going to be talking about that. So thank you, Amanda. Thanks for checking in. But share it out to your personal timelines. Let everybody know what we're doing. But we're going to talk Oshkosh, Wisconsin. We're going to talk Black River Falls. We're going to talk Utica. We're going to talk Warren, Illinois. Like I said, Maisel Maney had one heck of a crowd um, Saturday night, or excuse me, last Friday night, um, and it's good to see to good to see that because Dan's a heck of a good promoter and does a really really good job with all that. Um, I want to bring up the Badger State website, bstponline.com. We're gonna go, I want to go into results a little bit here to see how everybody's doing in the points because that's kind of what we do here. We run for them points uh, classes, see how we can do poll results. So let's see here. July, July, July. Let's go with Maisel. Let's talk about last week's winners before I get on the phone with everybody. So Mark Thomford. Thomford with the addiction truck won the um, the 3.0 diesel trucks. That class has been so tight this year. That class had just been dominated, honestly, by Jamie Lars. And um, for the last couple of years, nobody, he was really unbeatable. Uh, I know he got maybe nipped once last year, but before that. But, man, Mark's coming hard this year. Jamie, so Mark was 313.96. Jamie was 313.25. Then Brent Meyer, that Lincoln De diesel specialties, 312. So the top three trucks were all within a foot and a half of each other. And that's what we like to do um, in there. And I saw Doug Muller driving the Sound of Madness. Good to see Doug back out on the pulling track. Pro Stock Tractors, um, Randy Brew, Tool Times 2, took first at 337. Blaine Stam and Stampede came in uh, second at 331.99. And then, uh, honestly, the, probably the coolest tractor right now on the Badger State uh, Tour, the new Massey Ferguson Pro Stock, uh, Mike Everson from Belleville, Wisconsin, Slippener. It's that big Norwegian eight-legged monster 12 heads stuff like that uh, great guy please stop by him and talk to them but his videos are doing very very popular john Moriarty from berlin wisconsin won the 466 hot farms at 321.63 by one inch over the black stallion of josh Ninneman from uh franklin wisconsin what i like to see with the badger state uh, points or the results you can see where the hook order was and sometimes you'll see a track where an early hook was better or a later hook was better or whatever, but like the for example, the 466 Hot Farms. John had first hook and was first. Josh had 12th hook and was second. And there was 15 in the class, so it really spread out nice. Uh, Brian Barman, the hometown boy from Black Earth, won Mazel. Um, his dad Jim, excuse me, Chuck is from um, from Mazel, and that's their big part of that pull down there. They put 10 feet on the Badger Deer in second place of Casey Lear. Mitch Bird was third with a disorderly deer. Uh, the limited pro stock tractors, I'm pretty sure that went to, yes, Scott Olson, Tough Sled in 306. Second place went to Corey Neff driving the G-Force. So that uh, tightened that up there just a little bit. So those are your your, your top two or three spots um, back there. I want to pull up the points races for everybody. 540 Light Pro Tractor, um, one of the newer classes we have. Doug and Colin Burkholz have a eight-point lead over John Meyer Jr. That's through Darlington. Let's see here. I'm, I'm getting all this off the website, fans, so you can do this anytime you want. Uh, the 466 Hot Farms, go to, you go to bstponline.com, and then you click on uh, points, and you can do that. 466 Hot Farm, John Michael Lee Ruff, the prettiest hair in Badger State, has a two-point lead on Travis Hogan right now. Um, Travis Hogan, yep. was Yeah, so uh, Lee's at 313, Travis Hogan's at 311, Adam Adrian's at 311. So how the points work in Badger State and, and anything with Lucas Oil, you get 50 for first, you get 48 for second, and you get 46 for third. And then you work your, your way down there. So not sure. Uh, Hogan's did not have that good of a run then because they had just won, I believe, the week before. But that tells you how tough it is out here on the Badger State circuit, night in and night out. You're pulling against some of the best 
tractors and trucks every weekend. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to go to 640 Pro Farm Points. What do we got? What do we got? Yes, Scotty Burkhart has a two-point lead on his good buddy Nick Cunningham with the Industrial Strength, last year's points champion. And then uh, the Larsons from Baraboo are sitting in third at 237, only 16 points out of first spot. So 16 points would be eight spots. You'd have to finish eight spots better than that, that tractor to regain that lead at, at the next poll. Um, that's kind of what makes it fun because you everybody figures out. And then the course of Green County Fall Nationals is where it usually is decided. And you're heading in there. The Limited Pro, that's the 4-1 class. Brent and I, we got the championship last year. Jared Fredericks is in first, it looks like, with, uh, I got to get my screen down here. Maybe, maybe we might have a tie. Let's check it out. Yes, we have a tie for first. Uh, Jared Fredericks, Wild Bucks at 434. The G-Force Tractors in second at 434. Engel Kings are 10 points back at 424. And then uh, Running Red Hot sitting in fourth right now. So we got a points chase right there in the limited pro stock class. What else for tractor classes? Did I get all the tractors? Oh, we got to do light limiteds and super farm and pro stocks yet. So light limited, Aaron Kleckler is in the lead so far. Again, I got to scroll my screen down here. Sorry, guys. I'm not going to read it. And uh, points are current too. So this is through your most recent poll. Aaron Kleckler, a double vision. Oliver is in first at 290. Josh Wachholz with a just for fun out of Oshkosh. His hometown polls this weekend. He's in second at 286. And last year's point champion, the Hawthorns are in third. Tied with Mark Wittenbach at 282, and then uh, fifth. So we got really a five tractor chase right there. Only 10 points separating first and fifth um, in there, and that's kind of what we expect with the Badger State tractor pullers. If everybody's made the hooks, nobody's broke. You're going to see a tight, tight points battle down to the end. Uh, super farm points. Let's see how everybody's doing there. My wife's coughing out there. Sounds like she's going to die. So somebody may call the cops here in our soundproof studio. So Barman's have a ginormous lead. Holy cow, 454 over Fritz's brand new super farm out this year. They're in second at 412. Wow, so yeah, so Barman's are, they're last year's point champions and they are uh, running away with it. And I would say, unless they really do something stupid, they're gonna be able to wrap, go back to back this year with that. Uh, and then we got the pro stock tractors and we got some truck classes and then we'll get on the phone with some of our uh, promoters for the week. Got a busy week for Four hooks, three events, I believe, Black River, Utica, Oshkosh. I think, yeah, because Utica has two days. I got to double check all my thoughts here. I know I'm supposed to call four people tonight, so we'll have to check that out. Oshkosh, oh, Warren, Illinois, Friday night. Sorry, guys. Pro Stocks, Randy Brew from Baraboo with the Tool Times 2 is in the lead. Got a four-point lead on Blaine Stamp. And these are the best Pro Stock numbers I've seen in years with the Badger State Tractor Pullers. Uh, we're seeing eight to ten Pro Stocks. Uh, and anybody in the country would rival that, and I'm good to see that class because it is by far when those guys light the fuse or light the wick, as we say, it goes, goes, goes. So Randy Brew, you're in first right now at 322. Blaine Stams in second at 318. And the Brinkmeyers, last year's champion at 314. Good to see the Wildmans hanging in there. Uh, they're at 304. Uh, Craig and Glenn are back in fifth at 294. So still within striking distance of there. Let's move on to our truck classes. Our two-wheel drive trucks. Points leader right now is going to be Terry Timmerman. He, I believe, won the points last year as well. He has a 12-point lead on Willie Deppy right now with Inches Matter. Tim Deppy is in third with Fast Freight. And then Travis Hosley with Giver the Beans is in fourth. We got a four-truck race there in the two-wheel drive truck category. Uh, let's see. Trucks. Pro Mod. Semis. This will probably be a two-truck race, I'm guessing. Chris Milsner, Chris Schrader are... And first, they're actually tied with Ryan DeBrew at 94. I believe Ryan won the points last year, snipped them down in Baraboo, or excuse me, in Monroe at the Green County Fall Nationals. Points, 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 trucks, points, trucks. Again, I'm on the website, guys. I'm not doing anything fancy. Anybody can look at these when they want. Limited Pro Diesel Trucks, these are the three O's. Uh, what do we got? Mark Thomford is in first. This is through Mezo. Let's see how tight this is. Again, Jamie Lars has been the champion, I believe, every year. He has a two-point lead over Jamie Lars. A four-point lead over Brent Meyer with Lincoln Dink Lincoln Diesel Specialties Truck and then Funkin' Groovins in fourth. So all four of those trucks all within striking distance. And then our 3.6 Pro Stock Diesel Trucks. Bring that up for you here in a little bit once I run my mouse around. Again, if you're watching the show tonight, uh, talking points right now, everything's current through the last Badger State hook. Dave and Josh Stahl are beating last year's points champion by uh, Josh Jared Rip. By eight points right now. So they're at 443. Jared Rips at 435. Corey Schmidt and Brandon Luck with the Smoking Black Ram sitting in third at 425. Uh, John Holder 
is in fourth at 401. So not out of it, but again, you get 50 for first, 48 per second. You guys do the math down to 26. So that's what's going on with points. Again, it is July 31st. Um, Ryan is actually working, Stacy, tonight. He took a job at Guaranteed Rate with me, and he's down in Chicago training. So he gave me the, the board tonight, and hopefully I don't screw it up too much. So if you're watching the show, please share it out there so we get a bunch of viewers on there and uh, get things going. Um, again, Mazo had a great show last weekend. I heard John Stranley announcing down there. We've been trying to do a lot of live videos um, at the polls when we can, when Ryan's um, videotaping. So I'm going to call, I'm going to call David Smith back first. He's the oldest guy. He probably goes to bed first. So we'll call him first, see what's going on. You because a big, this is typically the busiest weekend on for the Badger State website. We have so many events going on and Utica is such a big deal uh, down there because they have some Badger State classes. They got some Tri-County mini rods. They got stock stuff. They got ball tournaments. It is a hoot down in Utica. So um, I'm going to call David Smith back. If you have any questions for David Smith back, be sure to uh, type them into the comments while we're talking to him. And he's been promoting. This is the poll. We share a lot of the videos on the Beer Money Polling Team Facebook page of the trucks or tractors going in the cornfield down there at the end of the track. So. Again, we're calling David Smith back right now. I'm going to talk some Utica. Says I ruined Ryan. I hope not, Stacy. I hope not. He's too good to me. So, Dave, are you there? Are you lost? Dave, Dave, Dave. Can you hear me now? The phone quit ringing. See, I think it's my phone. No, because Bill Petrie, we had him on the Beer Money Show, and then we lost him. Hello, you reached David nope. Smith back. Leave your name and number, and I'll call you back. Thanks. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hey, Dave, this is Jason Schultz with the Badger State Tractor Pullers. You're live on Facebook right now. I'm leaving you a voicemail. We'd like to have you on the show tonight. If you could uh, give me a call back at 608-604-5068, or somebody could rattle uh, Dave's cage for me, we'll get him on the show. Let's see. Let's go Mike Gerlock. Let's go Warren, Illinois. If we're going by age, I don't know how old Roger Castle is. We can call Glenn. Let's call Glenn Bartles. He's an old guy out there in Oshkosh. And that, I've, been, I've had the honor of announcing up in Oshkosh, and you talk about a ginormous crowd up there in Oshkosh. And I believe they built a new pulling track out there in the middle. I haven't been up there for a couple years. But let's talk some Oshkosh. Josh Wachholz, the local puller up in that area. Second right now in light limited super stock class. So Maybe they're all scared to talk to me tonight. What do you think of that? Bartles. Hello. Bartles. Yes, sir. Hey, my name is Jason Schultz. Do you know me? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it's fair. That's fair. Hey, how are you doing tonight, bud? Yeah. Good. Good. Hey, no. uh, I'm living the dream, living the dream. It's uh, Monday, July 31st. We're, we're on the downhill run part of the kind of the Badger State schedule, but it's crazy. We're swinging into Oshkosh this weekend for a big stop. I was telling the fans that are watching the show um, how what a big crowd you get up in Oshkosh, and you built some new polling tracks. So let's talk about your event, Glenn. Do your do your promoting thing, buddy. Do what you're good at. Okay. We well, I don't know about that old guy thing, but well, I just like to mess with you. So. Yeah. Right. I'm gonna I'm gonna mess Perfect. with you. I'm gonna mess with you whether you like it or not. I think that's part of the deal. Exactly. So. Exactly. In my contract, well, we the, in uh, my contract, it says I don't get paid to do it this. Says you so get to? <laughs> I can do whatever I want. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Well, we have the 540 light pro tractors. We have the limited light super stocks tractors, the 466 hot farms, and four by four mod trucks, and limited pro stock diesel trucks. So you got five Badger State classes. Six. Six. And we have the pro mod semis. Okay. Now, will you pick up a few more semis up in your neck of the woods? I would think so. I know there's some guys uh, reside north of us here that I would hope stop down. Yeah. Are you going to run? Now, when I've announced up there in the past, you've had two tracks going. Yes. And you had. Yes, we you, still do. Did you have some? Are you going to bring in some like four-wheel drive super stock trucks from Nor NEW or anything like that? Or no, no, no. Okay. Just these six classes this year. That's going to be a heck of a show. Now, is it true that you guys have built new pulling tracks out in the middle, if you will? We did. Okay. We did. Got rid of that uh, racetrack, or didn't get rid of it. It's still there, yeah. but uh, we don't use it, and it's a lot nicer track for the competitors. No, absolutely. That's the one thing. Uh, I'm glad you did that because that was one thing about Oshkosh, and that wasn't your fault. That just is it is what it is. It was it was a it was hard on the tires. Let's just say that Hawthorne tire, right. Hawthorne tire, and Korth and all the tire guys loved it when you pulled at Oshkosh because <laughs> they got to see you the next except week. They were, <laughs> except they were too busy after the pull. <laughs> exactly. 
No, uh, it, it's the Winnebago County Fair, right, Oshkosh? Correct. Correct. Winnebago I, County Fair. Yep. I think I've announced up there a couple times. I'm the crowd. I mean, it's one of the biggest. It's one of the biggest crowds we pull in front of all summer long, and uh, just it's just incredible. And they cheer. Oh my God, they cheer. And there's nothing yeah, better. Yeah, get into it. Yeah, it's just crazy. So you do you still pull, Glenn? What don't you have a tractor? Yeah. It's, okay. Uh, not out this year yet, but we want to get back out. Good. 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 So tell me about some of the sponsors that help make the event. Tell me about some of the people yep. that help put it on because you know we know it's not just you. So. Exactly, exactly. The, got a couple directors that I help some of the fair directors, fair board directors step in. And then uh, we've got a couple sponsors, or quite a few actually. Brighton Acres is our one of our major sponsors. Uh, my own farm, and then Cell Farms, Becker Farms and Trucking, Wackles Livestock. Probably heard that name before, so we yeah. get more money out of his dad. He's kind of a punk. He's kind of a punk, but yeah, he's sitting right? second in the points right now, so we can't pick on him too much. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. And uh, yeah, he does. He helps. Josh helps us out a little bit, also. And then uh, Zentner Acres, Roger and Jones Zentner, Troying Brothers Excavating from Amro, uh, Palmer Farms, Egan Brother Farms, Service Motors Company helps us out with donating some equipment. So it's all good. No, that, uh, cell farms. I don't know if they said them. I think so. I'm not 100, yeah. percent but it's okay yep. if you say it twice. It, it's not, yeah, these guys are. You you're know, not going to get all... fired, so it's okay. Right, right. Yeah, good luck with that. Good, exactly. So, Colin Burkholz, um, you know the Burkholzes. They got the 540 Light Pro. Yep. They said they love yep. your track, so they typed in here as we're watching tonight. So that's good. If you're just joining the show, I got Glenn Bartles awesome. with me on the phone right now. He's putting on the, the tractor pull this weekend. One of the guys helps put it on up in Oshkosh at the Winnebago County Fair. Now we're up there Friday night, right? What time's the show start? Yes. Friday night, seven o'clock. Okay, and what's the deal for the fans? They they just pay to get in the gate, and it's free grandstand. Is that yep. the deal? Okay. Yes, pay to get in the gate. One price uh, rides, if you so desire. The carnival rides are included. Uh, Lone Star will be playing. They come on at ten o'clock, so shortly after the pulls over or same time, whatever. Lone Star will be playing on the back side of the grandstand. That's awesome. They and you make it make a night out of it. Yep. Yep, all for that fifteen dollars. That's that's a great price. That's and I think that's why the place is so packed because, like like I said, it's one of the biggest um, crowds we pull in front of all year. Man, talk about a busy year, a busy couple weeks for the Fox River Valley, right? You had it was an EAA yes, last weekend. Yes. Yeah, and they had uh, record crowds the way it looked. We couldn't couldn't get anywhere. There was cars and traffic everywhere. Okay, and then the, so when they does had, you know really good for them? So. When does the fair actually start? Then the Winnebago County Fair starts Wednesday. Okay, and then so what's what are some of your other grandstand entertainment while we're talking to you? Yeah, we've got a rodeo uh, Wednesday night, Thursday night we have a farm tractor pull, Friday night uh, you know obviously the Badger Steak pull, Saturday night a demo derby, and Sunday afternoon we're having the uh, truck pull, all trucks with the uh, picket. It's a new, kind of a new club, picket pullers. Okay. Uh, they're putting on a truck pull Saturday at 11 or Sunday at 11 o'clock. Awesome. Awesome. So, um, and then there's uh, music like on the other side from the grandstand there going a little bit of a new venue this year, different style of bar instead of that big tent we used to have. So there's more, more area for people. Um, uh, there's Craig Wayne Boyd is coming. Um, there's several of them, you know, some pretty good, pretty good acts going to be out there. Awesome. And that's what it's all about. When you, uh, what are some of the, I'm trying to think here. So the poll starts at seven o'clock on Friday. Yes. Okay. Yep. What, uh, what time the pits are not open in Oshkosh, right? Cause it's all in that big grandstand. I'm just trying to think of all the things. Right. Go through. Not until after. Yeah. Yep. Until afterwards. Cause that's why we, we've talked to some fans and different things like that before. Um, it's easy to get to what exit is it off of interstate? I can't remember. It's the highway 76 okay. exit. Perfect. I couldn't tell you what number it is, no, but I know it's highway okay. 76 yeah. and yeah, you come back into town and. It's only a half mile off of uh, the interstate. And again, fans, it's only fifteen bucks to get into the grounds, and you can do. It's you said rides and the pole and everything, right? right? Yes, rides, grandstands, all included. So, and that's why, again, that's why you have a huge crowd. Everything. That's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. So, uh, the the fair starts this Wednesday, and then okay, so Jeff Capinos is coming down to run. Jeff he lives up by you. Uh, yes. I've been, and then Colin Burkholz commented that uh, Al Paulson is going to have his new five forty light pro out for the first time this year in Oshkosh. So. Can have some good stuff there. We were talking about the, we were talking about the points races, Glenn, before uh, before I got on the phone with you and talk about. I mean, it's tight. Wachholz is just I think a couple points out of first place in light limiteds, and uh, you know it's everything. It's super super competitive. You know, with Badger State always 
until the that end. That makes it interesting. It sure does. And the announcers will do a good job of breaking that down for the crowd and different things like that. So anybody else you want to thank or anything else you want to mention before we let you go tonight, Glenn? Just all the people that come out and support us. It's excellent, you know, and you get that kind of, like you said, it's fun to announce in front of them. Uh, they, you know, they participate and cheer. That's just terrific when they actually show up and enjoy it. And all the pullers, obviously, for coming out. That's terrific. Well, I want to continue to thank you for having the Badger State Tractor Pullers in there. Um, we're, we're proud to come to Oshkosh. We love coming to Oshkosh, and it always makes us feel good when, you know, we pull in front of a big crowd like that. And uh, thank you, I, you know, for stepping up the pulling track. As a puller yourself, you realize that that's not ideal for higher horsepower exactly. machines. And uh, thank you for doing that. I know a lot of people help do that, and a lot of people donate a lot of time and money to help do all that. But we really, really appreciate you doing that. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So, I'll let you go, Glenn. Have a good night, and good right. luck this week, bud. You too. Thank you. Thanks. That was Glenn Bartles, everybody, with uh, Oshkosh, Wisconsin, this Friday night, 7 p.m. Like he said, only 15 bucks to get in onto the grounds. You can go on rides. You can the band, the tractor pull, everything, only $15. You, you can't beat that. And I'm not sure who's announcing up there. I'm guessing it's Chris because Stacy's always in Warren. Um, we'll, have to double, we'll have to double check all that. Stacy's watching the show tonight. Jeff Kapanos will be coming down. I believe Jeff's tractor is called the Road Gear Deer. Let me know if I'm wrong or right. Jeff, um, we'll, we'll see what's going on there. So I'm going to try Roger Castle next from Black River. Um, David Smithbeck has not called me back yet, hoping to get a hold of him. But Utica is this weekend, Saturday and Sunday as well. Black River Falls is Saturday night. Uh, let's see, Roger. Got to get Roger on the phone. Got to find my notes. Ryan, this is tough doing this alone. I'm not going to lie to you, buddy. But now I know how, now I, I feel bad all those times I, I stick you with the show all by yourself. So thanks for tuning in tonight, everybody. It's July 31st. We're talking... Badger State Tractor Pullers, this is our weekly show we do every Monday night, approximately 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. We call promoters. We talk about last week, and, of course, last week would have been our um, our Maisel Mania Rumble by the River show, and we had we had some good weather. Finally, we got that event in because the previous week we got nothing. We got nothing. So I'm calling Roger Castle right now so he can talk to us about the pull in Black River Falls this Saturday night with the Badger State Tractor Pullers. Hello? Hey, Roger. This is Jason Schultz with Badger State. How are you? Good. 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 Hey, thanks for taking my call tonight. I didn't give you much of a notice today. I called this afternoon. Life's been kind of crazy, but uh, you're live on Facebook right now, and we appreciate you having the Badger State tractor pullers in Black River Falls because we love your pulling track because it's a good one, and it takes some horsepower and all yeah. the pullers like that. So thank you for having the Badger State tractor pullers there. Yeah. So let's talk. Let's talk about your fair. Let's talk about the pool Saturday night. Let's you do you, you do your thing. It's your time to promote. Um, Saturday night we got our tractor pull there. Starts at seven thirty. Um, and that um, we got pre-sale tickets start tomorrow for it. Um, that other than that, uh, what else you got going on at the fair this week? Um, we got Thursday night rodeo, Friday night we got our tractor, or not our tractor pull, but our truck pull. Scott's Truck Pullers Association is coming in for truck pulling. Okay. And Saturday night is the Badger State tractor pull. Um, we appreciate having uh, Johnny Peterson. He does a good job for us, Matt. Yes, he um, does. He, he's uh, local, helps us out a lot, does a good job for us. You're going to have some great pulling. Glad to have him. Yep. What was that? I said you're going to have some great classes. You're bringing in the pro stocks, the limited pro stocks, the 640 pro farms, and the two-wheel drive trucks. So you got some smoke. You got some noise. It's going to be a heck of a good show you're putting on starting at 730. So. Yep, yep. Uh, you got our grandstands there. You got that. Oh, beer, pop, water, carnival we got going on. Um, also, the, the meat sale was on earlier um, in the evening there for the kids and uh, all that stuff. Yeah. yeah, the Jackson County Fairgrounds, it's, you have a nice carnival for the families and, you know, lots of blacktop yep. area to walk around on. I've been up there a couple of times with our tractor, and uh, it's really it's a great place to pull. Got a nice grandstand, and like you said, Johnny Peterson, he was the sled of the year last year, voted on by the pullers, Roger, so you're blessed to have him up there, and I know he helps build the track and stuff like that. So I'm trying to think, what are some of the local pullers you have up in that area? Is um, Are Linehan's, are they close to Sparta? How far yep, is Sparta? Yep. Linehan's will be there. Okay. Mike, Mike uh, will be there, and Ann, um, they'll be there. Okay, great. Yep. And I think um, James Geezy's not far away at all either. I think he, I don't know if he has his track right, done or he's if he's got. Elma, Elma Center there. I know uh, 
he uh, was getting his tractor put together there. Good. From what I was told, and, and that hopefully he'll be there. Okay. On that. Uh, like I said, I know Mike Linehan does, and Ann told, and they always are good people. Yes, they are. They, uh, promote it, and uh, they're good people. Yes, yeah. they are. The um, I remember a couple years ago, the Pro Stock Tractors put on one heck of a show up there. Just rolled it over the top of the hill down there at the end, about 350, 360, and man, the crowd just went wild. It was awesome. It was awesome, Roger. Yep. And I'll, I'll never forget that. So, yep, yep. oh, our track. Oh, I know everybody likes our track. They it's sure do. Good. And Johnny's got it all shaped up already, and that kind of stuff. And he'll be there to shape it up. He does a really good job, and all his other help, Randy Hansen and Kevin Jansen, and all the other track helpers. They're, they're good with it. Yep. Any sponsors or anybody you want to thank besides Johnny Peterson? Um, we have Greenleaf Trucking out of Kaler. Um, they sponsor, we have Tyson's, we have a lot of sponsors, Gross Motors, uh, Almir, Harley Davidson, a bunch of those that sponsor a lot of our local businesses there. That's great. They're uh, real good sponsors of us. And the Co-op Credit Union is really generous to us, real good. Um, and we appreciate what they do for us also. That's great. No, if you're just joining us, I'm talking to Roger from Black River Falls. The Badger State Tractor Pullers are going to be up here this Saturday, August 5th, starting at 7.30 p.m., with the Pro Stocks, the Limited Pros, we also call them the 4.1s, our 640 Pro Farm Class, and our two-wheel drive trucks. So what's the cost to get into the poll? Because that, that'll be one of the questions we'll get. Yep. yep. Do you know what it costs to get so, into the poll, Roger? What was that again? Do you know what the cost is to get into the into the grandstands? Um, It's $15 into the grandstands. Okay. Uh, you can save, uh, I think it's $3, 2 to $3 uh, by buying pre-sale tickets. Which, I, like I say, they sale tomorrow. You'll be able to buy a pre-sale ticket right up until Friday, and then after that, then it's you know the fifteen dollars for the grandstand. Okay. And where do they buy so, those pre-sale tickets at? Uh, the pre-sale tickets can start and be bought at the secretary's office. Um, we'll have them for sale there, um, and that starting, like I say, tomorrow, um, and that that's where. Able to buy pre-sale tickets. Perfect. Or you can get a hold of any fair board member, and they'll direct you to get the tickets ahead of time. Perfect. Well, perfect. Well, hey, thank you for, thank you for as a puller of Badger State Tractor Pullers. I appreciate you having our class up there. It's a great place to pull. Again, great crowd, great track, and thank you very much. And we'll see you this Saturday, 7:30 p.m. Yep. in Black River Falls. Thank you, Roger. Yep. Thank you. Have a good night, sir. Yep. Bye. Bye. All right, David Smith back's been trying to buzz in if you heard that beeping, so let's call him back. Let's talk some Utica, and then we'll round out the show with my good buddy Mike Gerlock from Warren, Illinois. So Dave Smith back, he'll answer now, I'm sure. Get him on the phone. Can I talk Utica? And Utica's a special place. That's that Hello. Dave, sorry about that. I was talking to Roger from uh, Black River Falls when you were calling me back. So. Uh, no problem, Jason. Thanks for jumping in. Well, you're live on Facebook, so don't say anything stupid, okay? Thank you, Jason. I won't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just giving you hell. Okay, so Utica, um, this is one of the busiest weekends on the Badger State Circuit. We got Oshkosh, we got Black River Falls, we got Utica, we got Warren. I was telling your son Jay that this is like the most popular weekend on the Badger State website, and part of it is because of Utica, because everybody wants to know what's going on in Utica, and you, it's one of the, like, you're an entertainer. You get it. You get it, Dave. You entertain for the fans. It's more than a truck and tractor pull. It's an event. And, uh, I mean, shit, you can't even find – I can't believe I just said that on the, on Facebook. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Utica is just one of those events. I I, it's hard to describe. I mean, you, you know, there's a corn field at the end. Is it corn or is it beans this year at the end of the field? It's corn this year again. Okay. Uh, it, it's just such a unique event. The, the, there's softball tournaments. I mean, tell us tell us about Utica. I mean, it's, it's, I've even had people message the Facebook page and say, how do I get to Utica? Because I Googled it and I found Utica, New York, and, and different things <laughs> like that. So go ahead. Utica is in the southeast corner of Dane County. We're at the four corners of the world. And uh, it seems like everybody you talk to has been to Utica one time or another. It's just a fantastic event. I believe this is our 48th year, our 35th year of having tractor pulls there. We have did a number of style of pulls over the years. And a few years back, I went to all sanctioned events, which really helped us out. But all the pulls we put on in Utica, starting Friday night through horse pulling, mini rods, badger state, badger trucks, the spectator truck pulls, everything we do is how we all grew up watching pulling. We all grew up in these type of events. We, we never went to the huge events when we were younger. We all grew up in the Utica-style stuff. And that's how you got to 
know people, family, friends, other pullers. That's how we all started. That's how Utica is today yet. No, and it's true because I like it because you get to see, if I like big stuff, I get to see the Badger State tractor pullers or the Tri-County mini rods or the good diesel trucks mm-hmm. from Badger Truck. But at the same time, I'm telling you, your street classes are just as popular as anything you have there. I know they are. I've seen the videos. So it's crazy. Yeah. We had, we had 130 trucks in our spectator pull last year. Yeah. And it was just phenomenal and stuff. And the, the guys come out of the woodwork, and they do a fantastic job, put on a whale of a show. And that's why, because the spectator truck pull is lasting so long now, it's getting near dark. That's why we went to fireworks three years ago. And we have the largest fireworks display in the whole area and stuff down here. Wow. It's, it's our, sorry, it's our fifth year. Cause we started our 40th event. 45th anniversary so that's great and the weather and the weather's looking good for this weekend um so that's great and uh it, life is good life is good so how do i find out like if i want to because we're getting a lot of messages like hey how do i find the polling classes and stuff like that i mean our badger state classes are up but you guys have your own facebook page or your own website or anything like that dave yeah it's uticapark.org okay and Utica everything's Park. on there and stuff yep, yep. Okay. you know Remember, we don't have a lot of the old style classes where we just have farm classes that that we did away with a few years ago and stuff. So we we don't have a lot of classes for youngsters to come and pull in, but we do have a a really what we call a an M class for guys that have some young kids that just want to get on that track and see what it's like. Yep. We we don't want anything souped up. We just get guys to come out and play for a little while, and it really helps set our track down there in Utica. It's something that we did for a number of years, and it's just worked out real well. And uh, it, we, we probably get 15 to 20 tractors in that class, in that light class. We, we don't even weigh them. They just come in and have fun. They, they pull for a burger and a beer. And that's what it's, it's, that's what it's all about. That's, that's what, exactly right. If you can't have fun, don't go pull them. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I'm gonna... I, just hope, I just hope everybody comes out. We, I hope the weather holds. You know, we've had, had some... Badger State's had some tough weekends lately with rainouts and stuff, and I think we need to get back on schedule where we get things in. Yep. So, okay, so Saturday, August 5th, right? Uh, we got yes. 2 p.m. We got Super Farm, the 540 Light yes. Pros, 466 yep. Hot Farms, and a Light Limited Super Stocks. And then on yes. Sunday at 1 p.m., we got the Super Farm Tractors, the 540 Light Pros, uh, the 466 Hot Farm, the Pro Stock Diesel Trucks, the Limited Pro Diesel Trucks, and the Light Limited yep. Super Stock. So I'm telling you, those are two, and it's free, right? It's free to get in, right? Just walk in, no charge. Bring the whole family, have fun. That, that's amazing. So just, just don't carry in, don't bring any carry in. Just come on, have fun. Yep, eat, yeah, we're, we're, we're going to let you in. We're going to let you in free. Buy our buy our food and beer and our yep. drinks. Yep. That, that, that's the only way we can pay for this show, and we put on a wheel of a show. Yes, you do. And we start on Friday night through the horses all the way through to Sunday night. It's a big show, and if there's a class you really don't care to watch. Go over and get a burger and a brat and come back and stuff and watch your next class. You'll enjoy it. Absolutely. It's, it's, it's like a big family union. There's a lot of, and we've got 25, 30 campers. They don't leave the park all, all, all weekend. No, it sounds like a good time. And I've been there before. I've had a good time in Utica. Slept in my trailer before. Wink, wink. And yep. it, it's a good time. So, uh, yep. Who are some of the sponsors you want to thank, Dave, that help you put this on? Well, uh, our two biggest sponsors down there is CPS Crop Production Services out of Janesville and DeForest, and then Deanna at the Rockdale Bar. Okay. I mean, she has been phenomenal for us. She's just a fantastic uh, supporter of our community. No, that's awesome. That's awesome. Yep. So I think we've hit it all, Dave, and I got the website up there, uticapark.org, for people they can see. We've talked about the Badger State classes. Anything else you want to talk about before I let you go? Just bring the whole family. Just come on, have fun. That's all I ask and stuff. And Kind of really if you can, because everybody knows Utica is tough luck to park. You know, we get all these semis in there, and it's tough to park. Kind of really, you'll find a place. We'll get you in there. Perfect. Dave, thank you for promoting pulling. Thank you for being a part of Badger State Tractor Pullers for a long time and a sponsor. And you're just a great guy, part of the club. So thank you very much. Have a good night, sir. Thanks, Jason. Yep, take care. All right, everybody, that was David Smith back. I think we had a little bit of cell phone difficulty there at the end, so... Uh, Utica, very, very popular. Again, we've had Glenn Bartles on from Oshkosh. We've had um, Roger on from Black River Falls. Utica is Saturday and Sunday for Badger State in the afternoon. Looks like, sounds like they start horse pulling Friday night. I'm going to talk to Warren, Illinois. We're going to call my buddy Gutty Mike Gerlock, and they are first in the points right now. They're tied with Wild Buck, uh, the Fredericks out of Sterling, Illinois. I'm going to get uh, Mike on the phone, and we'll wrap this show up here tonight. But 
Warren is a great pull. A um, lot, a lot of pullers in that area. Uh, the Stam family, the Molitors, uh, Brinkmeyers, your big pro stock guys, a lot of them are from down that northern Illinois line down there. And then, of course, Mike Gerlock and his dad, Gerald, with the G-Force there. So we're going gonna, gonna to bring that up here in a little bit. So call Mike Gerlock right now. Hello. Mike Gerlock, this is Jason Schultz. You're live on Facebook, so don't say anything stupid like I did a little bit ago. I actually, All right. I actually we'll swore. Behave. I actually swore. I said the S word, and I'm surprised Kelly hasn't called me yet. So uh, that don't surprise me. But I didn't mean to. I'm drinking. I'm drinking water. <laughs> I'm sober. I'm on a diet. I'm trying to be a good person. So uh, you're behaving, aren't you? I'm saving the best for last tonight. How's that sound? There, you, there you go. <laughs> so Warren, Illinois, buddy, this Friday night, great place yep. to pull. Your tractor is tied for first in points right now with the G. Um, with the wild buck, you know, um, the, the Gerlock yep. family, we've got the Brinkmeyer families, we got Stams, we got Molitors, Brian Saunders, I'm sure is a huge sponsor. He's probably already driving around in his, um, in his little Ranger or Kubota right now, getting things set up. I'm excited. Warren, Illinois, man. It's a heck of a pull. 7 p.m. this Friday night, the Joe Davies yep. County Fairgrounds in Warren, Illinois. We've got pro stock tractors, we've got limited pro tractors, 640 pro farms, two wheel drive trucks, and the big 3.6 pro stock diesel trucks. So, Right away, yep. I think pro stocks. I mean, this is the best number uh, we've seen in years, Mike, yeah. for the pro stocks. I've ever seen eight to ten tractors consistently. I think uh, Badger State has come a long ways here this year with the pro stock tractors, and I think you can't find another organization that has the consistency that they we have this year with the pro stock tractors. You know, having equal amounts of red ones and green ones, which is nice to see. And throw a V, throw a V8 the board, in there. Yep, throw good. a V8 yep, in there. Yeah, the V8 Massey, and I mean that's a it's a crowd pleaser. I think it's a good deal. Oh, it is by far. The crowd's going to go crazy. Yeah. I mean, the videos from Mazo just the other night, it's like over 10,000 views yep. already. So that's really, really yep. good. So it's, it's a great thing for our organization. So, uh, yeah, the Warren, Warren Pool, uh, it's not the biggest place. It's not the best place, but we should have a good time there. We got food all afternoon, all night. And for anybody and everybody, uh, $15 to get in the gate. Uh, let you get in the pit if you want or the grandstands. Bring your chairs, coolers, whatever you want to do. And, uh, kids up to six years old are free, and from seven to seventeen years old is five dollars, and adults are fifteen. So a pretty good show we put on for what you get there. So I think the weather's going to cooperate. Actually, might be a little bit on the cool side, which is we all can handle that on a pulling night. Absolutely, absolutely. So let's talk about the history of uh, you. But you grew up, you know, in a pulling family with your dad and stuff like yep. that. How long have you been pulling it at, at, at your at the Joe Davies County Fair? Oh, probably. Well, my dad started pulling. He, the tractor we pull now, my dad and grandpa bought new in 1973 or four. I can't remember. So that's the exact same tractor he had brand new then. And uh, he started pulling a couple years after that, just farm pulls and different things and still used it. And then until it turned into a full-time uh, pulling tractor, I think he's pretty proud of that to have it in the family for that long. And I don't see any reason to change that. I would agree. Um, Brian Saunders just joined the show, and he is a great supporter of the Badger State Tractor yep. Pullers. He's a great supporter of that event. And you want to talk about just a fun person that loves pulling, and he runs around with you guys. Um, yep. He's always, you know, giving me crap yep. and giving everybody crap, and I just can't think yeah, sick, sicko enough for what they do. I mean, he really takes it to the next level at the Joe Davis yeah, County he, Fair. Yeah, he does, he does that with the community too, not just tractor pulling, but the, the schools and any other fundraisers. So he's all around him and Carlene and the – Family do a great job supporting everything that there is in the community, and even wherever their mini marts, the towns where their mini marts are at, he supports them too. And the Badger State they've come a long ways. And Sitco, the corporate office recognizing what we do and everything else, it's a good uh, good combination, and it's working out pretty good. Yeah, because you know you've had the fireworks down there in the past. You got live music, and Chuck Hobbs, yep. is, Chuck Hobbs is checking in from Sterling. He says, "Hey, Mike. So if you have a question yep. for Mike Gerlock, um, or if you want to make fun of Brian Saunders." Uh, please <laughs> please type it in the comments. I'll read whatever you say. It's okay because I don't yep. get paid to do this, so I, they can fire he, me. <laughs> he can he can take it, but he'll dish it out too. Oh, I so know he will. Uh, he still we were supposed um, to ride the bull down there in Dickieville, and we did, he he, chick I know, he, he chicken out on me. So I, in in theory, I won, and he owes me two hundred bucks. But we'll have to double there you down. Go. So we'll have to we'll have to find out something else you guys can compete at. But I'm not uh, worried. <laughs> No, we're pretty happy with the Warren Fair there. It's come along. It's been around for many, many years there. And like I said, it's not the biggest and not the best. We should have a good time there with everyone, kind of the, the community coming and all our friends get to come on the pit side. And the kids get to see all the trucks and tractors and just kind of be close to it, which is a big deal to get the younger people involved. And uh, 
talking to everybody else. So I think it's a fun thing to let the open pits like that. Yeah, it's our next, it's our next set of fans. You know what I mean? Uh, the next generation yeah. of fans, and they get to be up and close. And there's something special yep. about your hometown pole, and it's your fair. And like you said, it's not, yep. it's not a gigantic fair, but it's a nice little fair. No. Uh, the Joe Davies yep. County Fair in Warren, you know, it's it's easy to park. You got a lot of good stuff yep. going on there. Um, you know, a lot of good things going on. So yeah, they got a uh, uh, pageant with the younger kids there on uh, Thursday night, I believe, and Friday night's tractor pull. Saturday, oh, I believe here. Let me look at the thing here. They got the mud volleyball pit and the tournaments, uh, the lawn and garden tractor pulls, and monster truck Saturday, which has been a big hit. And Saunders and Sickle Oil always do a big sponsorship with that. And then Sunday is the Enduro during the day and the Demolition Derby at nighttime. So they they got a lot of different things going on for everybody. So it's it's a good time. And it's fun to have your hometown to help things with, you know, everyone to cooperate and help. So it's, it's a good thing. No, it really is. And a lot, a lot of fun going on out there. So I, yep. I, I like pulling on your track. It's a good track. You know, it stays consistent through all the classes. And like you said, you're bringing in, yep. you're bringing in the heavy hitters. I mean, it's fun, um, you know, you talk about Brinkmeyers and Stams and Molitors all yep. competing in the Pro Stock class, and they all live, what, 20 miles from each other down there probably? Yep, they're pretty, pretty, you got some real high power tractors within a 20-mile radius here, so that's a pretty good thing here in uh, northwestern Illinois we got. And you coming in, I think Brinkmeyers are 10 points out of first, Randy's in second, Stams yep. up in there as well, you know, and then you guys are tied for first with uh, with another Illinois tractor. It's going to be a lot of fun, yep. and you're bringing yes, in the is. good diesel trucks, and Bringing in the three six pro stock diesel trucks that's smart because there's a lot of good running ISP trucks that'll come yeah. up and pull with you. Yeah, yes, well. there is, and uh, it's it's good to have something for everybody in the crowd. You know, not everyone is a tractor pulling fan. They like the trucks and they like the loud ones, the two wheel drives too. So, kind of diversified and everything for everybody. Which is uh, as long as you please the crowd, that's the main thing. Absolutely. So again, only fifteen bucks everybody to get in. Starts at seven yep. o'clock this Friday night. Um, anybody else you want to talk about or thank Mike before I let you go tonight? No, just all the – there's other sponsors in town that do a great job. Uh, uh, Saunders Insulation, uh, Burmeister's Equipment. Uh, oh, there's a pile of them here. But uh, all in all, the community in the whole comes together and does a pretty good job for a, a small town as we do here. We got – and, you know, you don't – you know, the way the economy is with the states, you know, you don't get a lot of kickback from the states anymore. So it's just kind of self-propelled here what you try to do. So I think it's a pretty good – thing they got going on no it absolutely and, uh, is and, and you're spot on because well that's what's coming down to everybody they're doing it on yeah. their own now and different things like that so but i i think badger state as a whole our shows are run as good as anybody can put on a show fast paced uh good quality tractors especially in our class now with kevin bringing the white in you mm-hmm. don't see that anywhere else some places you go to it's all john deere or all red so i think we got a good thing going and everyone just puts on a good show, yep. and I think everyone should enjoy it, and I think uh, it's nothing but going up. No, I agree 100%. 100%. So, well, hey, thanks for joining the show tonight. I'm going to wrap yep. up the show here with some videos from 2014, right. the 2.6 diesel trucks, and uh, we'll see you this weekend, bud. Yep, thank you. Thanks, Mike. Bye-bye. All right, everybody, that was Mike Gerlock. What a good show here tonight with the Badger State Tractor Pullers Weekly Show. And uh, I think I'm talking over the truck still, so I want to make sure I am. I should be. Yep, I should be. Yep, this is a video from Ryan Zolik, our, our host of the show as well, and uh, does a really good job making these videos. I want to get that get that squared up on the screen right for everybody so you can see everything. There we go. Do it again. But, uh, again, we've got so many great events this weekend. Friday night we're up in Oshkosh. Colin Burkholz said uh, Al Paulson's new uh, Limited Light Pro is going to be out. Uh, Josh Walkholtz is the second in points right now, and we're watching a video right now from Warren, Illinois, and you saw the big Sitco balloon there in the background. This is, uh, that's Dedal's truck from Milton, Wisconsin, down there by Janesville. And then, so this is the 2-6 class, which has, you know, is now the 3-0 class that we had, um, that's, but the 3-6 pro stock diesel trucks will be in Warren, Illinois. So, but no reason not to go out and see good pulling anywhere in Wisconsin or Illinois this weekend, but the Badger State Tractor Pullers, we are the premier pulling association in the state of Wisconsin. And we're sneaking into four states now. We've had polls in Iowa, Minnesota, and Illinois. So thank you to Mike Gerlock, all my all my guests tonight. David Smith back from Utica. Mike Gerlock from Warren, Illinois. Glenn Bartles from Oshkosh. And Roger Castle from Black River Falls. Thank you to all the promoters who continue to hire the Badger State Tractor Pullers. Thanks to all the pullers who make our association great and all of our great tech officials and admin help. Uh, you have, I had no idea how much they did until I got more involved this year. And I don't even do hardly anything, but, man. There's a lot, a lot of work behind the scenes. So thank you for all that you do. Have a good night, everybody. And I'm going to crank up the sound so we can listen to the trucks.
Peace out. Be good.
night of the fireworks, gets a $100 gift card from Thundercat Fireworks.